Hey guys, what's going on? Jeremy LaFrance with Backstage Entertainment in this nice corridor slash hallway <laughs> with September of September morning. Hello. September, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. You guys just got done with your set yeah. in lovely Omaha, Nebraska. So beautiful here. Yes. <laughs> Have you guys played around the area before or here? Just like once or something. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Always nice to be back and have new fans and stuff too. Yeah, it's great. It's yeah. Great. We love it here. Well, your set was awesome and Thank you. definitely recommend everybody to check it out, of course, too. So tell me, you guys have a whole idea behind the band and the persona and everything. Yeah. It's Comic just... books are linked with it. Mm -hmm. What was your idea that made this all what it is today? Um, well, I wanted to do something that was transmedia, which meant that it was wrapped around a whole storyline, so right. it wasn't just like a band going out there and playing. We wanted it to be something that was a lot more um, theatrical and had a presentation with it. Right. So how many times do you get the question that, how long does it take you to get ready? Um, every single time I do an interview. Yeah. Like, I'm not even joking, too. Like, people are like, so I got to ask you, how long does it take yeah. for you to get ready? Well, Three hours? <laughs> Three hours from top to finish. And that's not including the, like, going backwards, like, that I have to do after the show and stripping down and putting the costume right. away and steaming the wig and, mm -hmm. and she knows what's up. <laughs> is, there, is there ever a show out there where you're just like, gosh, I wish I wouldn't have done it for this show? Or is it just a, a thrill every time? Well, it's, it's like I can't not do it well, because it's the character. So if I went out there in my cowboy boots and, like, really tight black jeans and like looking like just some rocker chick, people would be like, what is this? They would, it just wouldn't make any sense. Exactly. And um, so it, it's just, there's no like thinking that ever, you know? But I, I really like it. I like getting into the character and September is a piece of me that's kind of magnified. So it's, yeah. it's pretty cool. Is it kind of nice going out of the the persona and then like in the general public and not being noticed really or I love that that's like my favorite thing to do we'll like stop places and they'll recognize some of the band members and they will never recognize me they just think that I'm like a girlfriend or I'm like the the tour merch girl and sometimes we'll be like oh yeah that's our merch girl like you know and yeah. just not even say anything about me which is really funny I love it I think it's hilarious do you have a funny fan story that actually somebody has noticed you though um, <laughs> I mean, there's there's been a couple of times like at truck stops really late at night really? when we stop to get gas or something like that and I'll just be like taking off all the makeup and like and then some trucker will be like, hey, like they saw us or yeah. somebody has seen us or they saw us online and that's always very like weird. Yeah. I've gotten like Facebook messages like, sorry, I didn't recognize you at the truck stop last night at two in the morning. And right. I'm just like, this is so weird and random, but right. whatever, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's been the hardest part of bringing this all to fruition? I mean, because the music industry is hard enough. Oh yeah. But then you guys have this whole persona story and everything behind it but from start to now what's been the hardest thing to get this where it is today well it's hard to like co like come out right from the gate with something that that actually like people understand like you say transmedia project and people are like what are you talking about right. you know like so when we first were developing it, it took a couple years just to actually develop the project like just develop it and develop the music and characters and write the comic books and all that sort of so that was the big meat and potatoes part of it that yeah. was the hardest to do and then after that, things kept on like falling into line and we finally established a lineup and we finally established a stage show and the costuming properly and everything working properly. And then we had to like get the fan base to actually understand what it is. Right. And that, that was actually the easiest part of the whole thing. Because once you got everything together and I go up there and I do what I do, people understand, they yeah. get it. They wanna be part of, they wanna ask questions about the, the character. They wanna come to merch and be like, so what were we talking about? And then we show them the comic books and da 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 da. And, it, and we start garnering this fan base, which has right. been really, really cool to see and yeah. watch. So volume two, is yeah. out now. Uh -huh. Volume one was the EP, and then the volume two was the actual record here. Yeah. So through Sumerian Records, who we love. Exactly. A lot of great bands who we've interviewed have come through there. So yeah. Sumerian's doing an awesome job. <laughs> Sumerian Records. That's right. So, <laughs> Shame with self promotion. <laughs> what, what's been the favorite part, or your favorite part of even writing a record? Because there's a lot of our fans even that are in bands or anything and maybe mm -hmm. not have experienced that yet. But what's been your favorite part of 
getting a record together. The free food at the studio is really awesome, and that's, I'm just kidding. Um, no, <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's really good, but no, writing, um, it's just, you know, bringing the storyline to life through music has been, um, awesome but it's also been a little bit like it's it's been a little bit tough because we wanted to do something that was across the board like people can listen to the music just for the music or they could like read the comic books and listen to the music and it still ties together or they can just read the comic books so, like we wanted to do stuff that was standalone so to do a project that is all of this stuff plus can stand alone on its own yeah. is like everything has to be put under a microscope exactly. so Mm -hmm. So I told you with our interviews we have some fun. Yay! Yep, so our fans know us best for the BSE Box. Fans have <laughs> submitted their own questions through our social media outlets, Facebook, YouTube, all that kind of stuff, and gotten their questions in here for bands we interview to answer. Okay. And I kind of hinted at it to you before, we have a little twist with it. So the process is you're going to draw a question, okay. read it, and then you're going to pick a number 1 through 75. Okay. If you could open for any band, who would it be? Oh, this question. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, and okay. 1 through 75. Um, 32. So while you answer the question, you're out of breath. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, motionless and white would be awesome. <sighs> I feel like <laughs> this sounds like something totally different than out of breath, but whatever. That, that one's on here too. That one's on here too. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> um, um, bring me the horizon would be amazing. We love Slipknot. <sighs> We love Ghost, which is Ghost BC. We love those guys. Anything theatrical, Rob Zombie, Marilyn Manson, any of those theatrical bands are amazing. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and um, you know, and we and we love some of the newer bands that you know that we've we've seen in festivals and right. things like that, like Avatar, who we've toured with before. <sighs> <laughs> and and you know um, yeah there's there's a bunch of bands but okay. those are a few for sure. Okay. Now I'm gonna leave this up to you since <laughs> okay. it's your interview. I want you can go stop as long as you want to do. So we can do one more. You want to do right. one more? Okay, let's do it. This one. Okay. <clears throat> It's like reading a fortune from a fortune cookie. Yeah, it's yeah, like, it's okay, not a fortune cookie. yeah, I guess so. <laughs> if you could hang out with anyone dead or alive, who would it be? Oh. And another number? Um, 12. 12. This is funny because <laughs> <laughs> no, we, have, we have all these interviews, but it seems like there's always like five that get picked the most. And in our last interview with yeah. Rob with Nonpoint, he picked yeah. 12 as well, oh. being paranoid. <laughs> okay, um, alive or dead to hang out with? Well, there's a couple of people, so what do I do if I, if I like... You can do both. Okay. So, <laughs> um, like, well, is that thing on? Oh, like, oh, shit. shit, is that guy watching? Hold on, you stand there so you, you can't it. see me. Okay, okay. that's cool. So, so RuPaul would be awesome to hang out with because RuPaul's Drag Race, hello girls. Um, and then, but as far as a musician, wait, he's still watching me. Still oh my God. I think there's a camera in that light. In the light. Yeah, in the light. Yeah. There's like a camera in the light. No, those are bugs. No, oh my God. <laughs> Do you think they'll eat flesh? Oh my God. Uh, okay, anyway, so, so they're, <laughs> they'll eat you first. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Um, of course, of course, like Kurt Cobain would be absolutely incredible to hang out with because it's freaking Kurt Cobain. But exactly. and um, yeah, there's fucking is a camera right there. There's it's the in the camera. Okay. Camera in the light. <laughs> See, this is fun. Is it? Okay. How, yeah. would, how would you rate our interviews for other ones that you've done before? Um, this one is a lot of fun. So thank you for that. That You're was welcome. it's very You're awesome. Welcome. Are you and thank done? you guys so much. You're good. Yeah. All right. Okay. So last message you just want to leave the fans with. Um, you know, with uh, everything that's been happening in the United States, with the presidential election and like 
it seems like a lot of people are torn and our fan base is really torn apart. But I just want to remind everybody, you know, and despite what happened or if you were for it or against it, you know, we're, you know, we, we teach a, a message of unity and positivity and that's kind of what happens when we go on stage and, and the story that September is telling is, is something very positive, even though it's about death and, and you know, life and, and reincarnation and all this sort of stuff, but it's very, very positive and so, you know, when you're out there and, and people have different opinions and different like this and that the other thing but we have to stand together we have to love each other we have to have a positive outlook on life and a positive outlook as like a, a conglomerate of of this world or else we're just going to be lost and I just really want all of our fans to remember that and be that way so it's all up to you you guys have <laughs> it you guys. September from September morning definitely check them out and Bye. volume two is out now Hey everyone, become a fan of Backstage Entertainment on Facebook and enter in contests to win autographed prizes from the bands and entertainers we interview. By joining our page, you can also contact us to submit your own questions into the BSE box. And make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube to see all of our interviews and backstage footage from the shows. From Backstage Entertainment, I'm Jeremy LaFrance.